Hey guys, this is Ram. Welcome to another video and today I want to show you something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to improve your network issues, um, any rollbacks that you have or lag issues, you know, stuff that makes it unplayable. I'm going to try to help you sort that out. So first thing you want to do is go to your desktop. I just hit Windows D for that. Then go to your network and sharing center right here click open network and sharing center uh, go to your adapter settings go to your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet adapter whatever you're on now I do recommend if you're on Wi-Fi make sure you're really close to your router or whatever yeah make sure you're close to your router because if you're in a room far from your router you're gonna have poor signal and stuff or you can buy a Wi-Fi extender you should look into those things. They can boost the Wi-Fi signal. Um, but yeah, it's best if you're on a cabled connection. Anyway, go to Properties. Then on Client for Microsoft Networks, go to Configure. Go to ba -ba -ba Advanced. Yep, we got it. Um, then go to Throughput Booster. Now, this is ex especially useful if you're on a shared network. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, especially in residencies, like if you live in a dorm or something. If you put on this throughput booster, essentially it's going to give you priority over everyone else in your network. And it's just going to improve your network a little bit. So make sure you put that to enabled. Second, it helps if you have nothing else open in your uh, background. F so... Um, what you can use for this is Razer Game Booster. Now I don't have it myself so I'm gonna install it with you guys. What it basically does is, maybe you've already heard of it, but it closes down everything else uh, on your computer or stuff that you don't need anyway while you're playing Brawlhalla, such as Skype or Discord or anything that might be eating bandwidth basically. And you can configure what you want to close but it, it is going to help you, especially if you have a slow computer, it will also help you by closing down stuff that you don't need. I'm just going to set this up right now. I don't know if I will use this personally because I'm not having lag issues right now. I did in the past. Um, but still, I'm going to show you as soon as it opens. There we go. Let's hit next. Yep, sure. And while this is running, I do have to say, this won't work for everyone. As I said, some people just have poor signal if you're on Wi-Fi. Um, the best way to fix that is to just get a better uh, internet provider, or maybe change your router, or um, move closer to your router if you're on Wi-Fi. That will definitely help. Alright, so now I have it installed and I logged in. I would like to point out that I downloaded Razer Cortex. It used to be called just Razer Game Booster in the past. I'm not sure if they merged it. But either way, I, I do believe they merged it. Um, so you download Razer Cortex, you go to Game Booster. And go to Configure. Let's see, what do we have here? Just, just take a look around. Select processes to terminate during boost. All right, so this means that whatever you select here, it's going to turn it off whenever you decide to boost your Brawlhalla. Here, for example, we have a Java update scheduler. You don't want to run updates while you're playing because that might actually cause lag by downloading uh, updates in the background. Same with, uh, for example, Discord. You can close Discord if you don't need it while you're playing if you boost it. Uh, you don't need, you know, you can just look around, uh, just turn turn things off that you definitely won't need. Maybe you won't need your Chrome, so make sure to select Chrome. You know, everything you don't need, just make sure you, you stop it. Same with services, you can turn services off. You can turn your Bluetooth service off if you have one, that'll help. Maybe not interfere with your Wi-Fi in the slightest bit. Uh, it automatically already turned off some services. Um, see, it'll clean your RAM, clear your clipboard, and change the game power. You can even turn off Explorer, so that's your taskbar, stuff like that. 
just be careful with that because if you don't know how to put that back you might have some trouble uh, it says that here as well so when you're done configuring whatever you want to to turn off um, maybe I should also mention you have a tweak and a defrag here now defrag is just gonna defragment your hard drive a bit and your programs which will increase performance a bit but it might take a long time if you're on a hard drive on an SSD it's not so much necessary actually not necessary at all um, yeah you can just take a look around <coughs> and it froze it's not good all right go to boost back oh my god okay tweak what do we have here and hung applications faster speed up menu display as you can see you can configure all these things I'm not gonna go into that in detail uh, now I think as soon as you click boost it's gonna close up everything and it'll help you to um, it'll help you to play your games better it'll, it'll turn everything off see it's releasing RAM it's optimizing your things it's releasing me okay so everything's boosted and then you can just go to your games and where's Brawlhalla here just launch Brawlhalla and you're on your way so that's about everything you can do to to boost your performance for now uh, again if you're on Wi-Fi I really recommend that you either get a gabled connection or get a Wi-Fi extender or something it will really really help with your lag thank you for watching this video guys I hope I'll be posting another one soon I hope it was helpful if you have any questions feel free to post them um, oh yeah maybe one more thing but it should be pretty obvious uh, if you're playing in Europe if you're in Europe you should be playing in the Europe region on Brahalla that's that's a really obvious one I don't think most of you need that just change region here make sure you're in the right spot if you're in America make sure you're playing in America that should all be pretty straightforward so again thanks for watching guys